Hello and welcome to Ace Inches Gaming. Today I'm playing Need for Speed 2015. And today we're going to be looking into the Under the Hood Hashtag 2 update. Things I like and things I don't like. So, the things I don't like is the new update name. I don't really like the name, it's a bit social media orientated hashtag. I would have preferred update 1.02, 1.09. But that's just me and like, you've got your own opinions. But, what I do like is the AI improvements to add. So the AI improvements have added made it a lot harder for you to actually do races. So if I just switch back, that car over there, Nakai San's Porsche, I actually did a race with that before I resetted, and I it was very easy, one Amy about about half the track. Just done it again, just before this video, and it was very hard. It took me quite a while for me to catch up to her, and once I got up to her, it took a while for me to actually get past because she was blocking the fending. Good race, a very good race it was. But there's a few things I've also added, which is bonus rep on events, bonus money on events, and some discounts on events. They don't say which events, I don't know if it's special events that I'm putting on the map or what, but that's what they've said. But they've also changed, so you've got some new icon cars. Some new icon cars like Ken Block's Hoonigan at 700 horsepower, I believe, and the Maharishima San Lamborghini, which has got neons. Which is referring, there's going to be a new update including Neons, which I can't wait for. So, as you can see, just quick cut back to the screen, I'm actually doing a Mercedes here. And now let's cut back to the update, it's just a quick update, just so anyone who's wondering. So, the update also includes a new colour picker, which I will show you in just a second. I'll just do my number plate, you probably can't see the keyboard, that's done. I'll just go on to the Color picker. So the new colour picker looks like this. Now, this is a lot better than what it was before. So you can do gradients, you can, do, you can go back to the normal one, or you can just do a straight up colour picker, which I kind of like. kind of like is being able to have that choice of preset ones, so you're not trying to figure it out, trying to get it perfect. Some people might like that. But there's also the added mirror decals for your car, which I haven't actually noticed. But they might have added them, I'm not too sure, I haven't, just haven't seen them, I went onto the decals and did not notice any. But that might just be me. So this Mercedes doesn't actually have that much oh, customization to it. But anyway, let's continue. So, also in the update, they've added rep increases, so I believe there's going to be some rep events you can do around the map. I'm not too sure, they didn't really explain too much about it. There's also going to be some... New daily challenges, so which are a lot better and easier, and also more challenging as well, as well as easy, so more easy, and challenge are not too much focused on outlaw events, which I don't know if anyone's done, I have, but... So, there's also added some new pre-wrap sets, so there's new ones, there's different ones for different cars, that completely changed the wrap, and it is, well, the colour picker as I showed you just before, but they've also, they've also had done some general bugs and tweaks and improvements to the game. I can't really notice any improvements to the game, to be honest. The graphics don't really look that different, but they are quite hard to improve on. So, and that percent, that's the bit I can't really see what they've done. But, what they have done, is also on listening more to the community. So, they're listening into what the community want in updates, what the, but basically what the community wants out of the game as this is a live game so it's constantly, constantly changing. Constantly. And also, on the link below which I'll put in the description, they have added, and if you go scroll down to the bottom of the news, they've added people's screenshots from the car, which I believe look awesome, and I might do the, the Nissan on there, the well, Datsun really, Datsun on there, that guy's level 40, and there's some awesome rap editors they've done. But I'm not that good at wraps, so that won't be something that's on my list. But it's maybe a good video I could do, trying to do a wrap and all, every one of you laughing at me. So, so far out of this car, we have... Ooh, saving on money, I believe. <laughs> Very saving on money on this build. Because this car cost, I think it was 83000 and then you did 100000 and then what really quite expensive. So, going back to the update, that all I believe the actual needs to be have, but the boss, oh, actually it's a lie, scroll down a bit further and they've added all their music onto Spotify, 
so you can listen if you like any of the songs in game you can go on spotify and have a look as i say i will put the link in the description for this update underneath if any of you actually want to check it out you can i'm i don't know what updates to do for a car i got some decent hardware for cheap exhaust system is going to be very expensive Ooh, low on money so low on money is never a good thing when you the speed but for some reason the parts do seem a little discounted. I don't know if that's to do with the 15% discount they're going to be putting out on Friday. But it's not Friday, so I don't know. Let's go back if I run out of money. So, let's also, while we're here, do a race so you can actually see how the AI has completely changed. As you saw just then, this was an over 500 plus horsepower car. And it's a supercar, which is the first ever supercar I bought on Need for Speed, which is kind of cool. So I don't know how it's going to handle, don't know what it's going to be like, but let's do a race so you can see how it sounds. I'm also going to do a little sound test like I do in all my videos so all you can hear, the engine, the exhaust, everything. So I'll just be quiet so I can rev the engine and do a little burnout. Maybe even the donut, depends on how much you're treating. That's the noise of the Mercedes now let's go find the race. So as you may notice, this is the map. And it there's someone doing a race, which is zoom in on them, we're doing a cheeky race. So this is the the new way the locks and they're not blocked anymore or the little they've got their own new icons. So that's a I believe that's a race which we might do. That's a time trial. There's this is um Manu's new logo. But as you can see, there's not much difference on the map, but also, if you can see, I can't see any new any new things that get you extra money. But what I have noticed, which I don't know if it was there before, or it wasn't, it might be, it might not. The daily challenges at the bottom right of the map might have been there. But so on their website, they say they're not doing more outlaw, but it looks like they have done more outlaw. But anyway, it's up to me to decide what they've decided to do. So it's roots are here. Which says, Look, Robin, you oh, can't play all the time. I know, I know. So, this is my first ever supercar. There's another thing, actually, which I think they need later. to improve on the next so, update. No, and they've got a hashtag free. It's being able Maybe to drift in fully customized so track cars. Later, talk about you do a track thing. car, and you're yeah, still sure. able to drift like that. In this, and, uh, also, cool. a common need to speed problem is being able to drift in a front wheel drive car, which in my first video where I purchased the Civic. I have to do a drift in it, so that's a few things need to get improved. But let's enter this race, a fish out of water. I don't believe we're going fishing, but mm, let's see what Robin awesome. says. You found it. Okay, let's go. So let's see which car's in, because it showed on the picture the most wanted car, which you only get if you get the hardened edition in the UK, you have to get the digital edition to get that. No, she's not actually in the most wanted kind of car, but not really a great deal. Oh, this, as you can see, this is a very powerful car and quite early on in the game. And I'm just walking in the AI. Which is still kind of a nuisance that the need to speed is still able to get so much money halfway through the game, at least about 30% if that. If that. Maybe even 20% to And they've got an £80,000 car with £25,000 update. So, up grades or update. And it's just so much easy to do the campaign, you're just walking over cars. And so another thing I believe they should have in the next update, I think they should have the way you can join races. So I believe you should be able to put to a group of online players that are just cruising together and tap R1 like you did if you look like a normal car and being able to race the whole group. Or if two people are racing, you're able to race up to them press R1 to join their race. Or even another addition is when you see a race on the map like this you showed before, you're given a, just a random race. You can go up to that race with a certain button and it takes you into that race. Now that would be a cool point to feature. You might not get top money for it, but it would be quite a cool feature. Another cool feature would tonight would be form. I don't know if the game has got it. I've been on controls. I've not seen any any form feature, I've not seen any, anything like that. Another really cool feature to do, I don't know how difficult it would be for me to speed go to the frostbite to do it, would be in-car. Now, some racing drivers, like gamers, I don't know, gamers, 
don't like inside me, but others do, I quite like it. I quite like it because it shows what the balance of the gaming company is. Well, it certainly up to them. Which I might post in the premiere for you to see if they introduce it. But another thing which I'd like to see is maybe the, the, the light, the difference, maybe add a bit of dust. I don't really know, it's just, for me the night time is just it's a bit dull because you put to like a little car meet and everyone's there and going, oh I like I want to see your car, I like Mercedes. Wait, I can't actually see what you've done to it because it's so dark. It's a thing I'd like. But well, whether they could introduce it because of the cutscenes and the way they say, I'm going to continue driving on tonight, I don't know. It's been drifting in a track car. It's still very annoying, which has the down water. Bro, I almost did it. You crushed that run yet? Get on it if you haven't. I know so, we're getting close. So, they have done an AI update, as you see. I saw it in the last race I did, but hey, we were just in here recording. I just can't see it in this, the cars, you get too much money for too long. Run. But apparently there was rep increase, which will be good, because you can finally get upgrade you want to make your car look better, and a lot better. And they've also changed some of the tweets, so the tweets look a little different. So, let's talk about more about the update we've got now. So the mirror decal. I can't find it. If you can find it, please post in the comments about how you do it. So I, I had a quick look earlier and I can't see how to do it. It's not like me having a blonde at the but I can't see how to do it. So if you ever find out how to do it, please put in the comment. That's everything today from Under the Ford Ford Age, hashtag 2. I'm Ace Into Gaming. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Good night.